Just because it looks good online, a lot of these apartments Photoshop it. When it comes to biking on a hot summer day, it can get really difficult for you. Don't be afraid to ask the tough questions to these people. It's a good idea to kind of connect with people in terms of the housing and not just sign a lease sitting far away. Hey friends, welcome to Chai and Coaching. I'm Rob, and we're all about guiding people on their cross-cultural journey to be successful, especially international students. And we're we'll be giving you guys the most important tips that you need as you prepare to go abroad, especially for people starting this fall. Archana, what are some tips for students in finding good housing? It might appear that when you're kind of checking about apartment websites in, uh, like in and around the university, you know, everything looks fancy, everything looks very well equipped, but then you want to talk to alumni, especially people who have stayed in that particular apartment community. How safe is it? Or, you know, like how, what are like the amenities? And there are certain apartments that are relatively a little older here where, you know, you might face certain issues. You want to be careful about what kind of housing you're getting in India we speak in kilometers but here it's like in miles so you might think like it's, it's pretty close to the university but then when it comes to biking on a hot summer day it can get really difficult for you so you want to speak to people who are already living here and you know make sure that you are finding a suitable housing that's you know well within your budget in fact in this housing scenario ASU has like a network on I think they connect through like Facebook wherein you can find individuals who are you know joining your degree program in the same year as you and you can basically connect with them and you know for all you know they can become your roommates even it's a good idea to kind of connect with people in terms of the housing and not just sign a lease sitting you know far away it's not a very smart thing to do mm -hmm. in my yeah opinion. we've got some great resources and videos on shine coaching on how to select housing and apartments so check those out and also yeah do your research there's facebook groups whatsapp groups connect with alumni on linkedin and just because it looks good online a lot of these apartments photoshop it and then <laughs> it's a bad surprise when you get there so don't be that uh, do your unless, research unless of course you're comfortable sleeping with uh, cockroaches and bed bugs in that yeah. case uh, I mean, I also <laughs> in, in like a lot of the scenarios like a lot of the apartment communities if they're like luxury apartment communities they're like force you to take certain kind of like services and stuff like that which you don't want to do as a student and they're still near the university so you're like oh maybe you know it's close to the university so maybe it's a student community but that's not always true some of them are luxury and very expensive. So, yeah, and they're expensive, expensive as well. And I've kind of had like my own personal experience where, you know, like it was just like a simple service that I didn't want to take, but then I was forced to take. And then, you know, like they charged me like extra for that and stuff like that. You don't want that as a student. It's just mm -hmm. like an added stress in your life. Don't be afraid to ask the tough questions to these people because they're in the business of selling you apartments, but you got to know like what's your budget mm -hmm. like, what kind of preferences do you have? So feel free to bombard them with questions and they are accountable for all the answers that they provide and just make an informed decision is all we all would recommend you to do. Well, this has been amazing. You guys, if you follow these tips, you're going to be way ahead and have a much better experience going abroad. Give a big like and thumbs up this video to say thanks to these guys sharing from their experiences, their lessons learned, maybe some of their own mistakes, but Thank these you. are going to help yep. you guys. These are awesome tips. Share these with other incoming students as well to help them. We want to help you guys be successful. Connect with us online on social media so we can continue to guide you and give you more helpful tips like this. And thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time at Shine Coaching. Cheers. Yes.